In this video, I'm going to be sharing you how, sharing with you how to use the Smash concept out of the Trips Tied In in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about uh, basically helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. So if you want to get better at this game, I post videos every day that can help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. So if you want to get... Um, if you want to get better at this game, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Right now, we're working out of the uh, trips tied in in this video. We're going to be going over the play curl flat. And, and really, we're only calling this play um, for the tight end corner route. Another good play. And let's let's use doubles in sales so I can show it on both sides. Um, it's just a concept that you can then pair with something else on the back side. So we're going to go over it from both sides. So anyways, doubles in sales, what we'll use, it's, it's a smash concept. Um, and basically, what we're going to show you in this video is how... You can really um, begin to force your opponent to have to pay a little bit more attention to the running back and tight end side of the formation. Most of the time, what people will do, especially if they're defending trip side end, is they're basically going to use the crossing route, put a lot of zones on the left side, and then scream at you off the right side so that you can't uh, basically roll out and throw crossing routes. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to give you some tools in which you can not only beat the blitz, but it'll also allow you a really good opportunity, uh, in my opinion, to just really beat the Mabel coverage and some of the things that a lot of people are doing. So, uh, anyways, if you want to get my full uh, trip side in offensive guide, I think it's going to be the best offense in Madden 22. So you can get that down in the description below. I've already written a guide, and we're going to be expanding it uh, in Madden 22. But if you haven't gotten the guide yet, it will be a good place to start if you want to get ready. Okay, so uh, how are we going to run this play against zone, the smash concept? What I like to do out of this really simple setup is I'm just going to streak the tight end, or not tight end, the, um, the running back, okay? And then I'm going to take, and we're only focusing on the right side. I'm going to take uh, one of the two receivers. It does not have to be Brown. It could be Godwin um, if you wanted to. I'm going to take one of these two. And I'm going to motion them to the to the numbers. They have to be snapped right at or outside the numbers. That's really important. Okay. So for this, we're just going to do that concept on the left. And then on the right, you see here, we're going to do this. Now, what I like to do is this tight end corner route is kind of unique. Um, and uh, we'll show you it first and then we'll, we'll talk about it. So anyway, I'm just going to motion out. This is against the Mabel coverage. So I just want you to watch this tight end route first. Um, you're going to see here that he basically gets open on the corner. Now, what you can do, and it's, it's one of those things that in regs is a little bit different than mutt. So in mutt, the better the route running is, the sharper that tight end will cut if you smart route it. So I don't always like to smart route it because of that because it's going to limit the spacing. But if I smart route it, now I want you to watch this running back or this uh, slot. So I'm going to motion him over. I'm going to snap him kind of right here. And I just want you to watch his route. You're going to see that he's going to get wide open, absolutely wide open. And so basically um, what we're going to force your opponent to do, because most people, uh, whenever they defend trips tight end, you're going to get this look right here. You're going to get this. I can almost guarantee you that you're going to get this look right here. And the question is whether or not that guy is blitzing uh, off, that, off that right edge. So what you can do, as you see here, we've got this look. Um, their user is going to be sitting here. So if their user jumps to the hitch, which he very well could do, um, it's a popular uh, technique when people are trying to stop this uh, concept, this running back streak is really underrated, in my opinion. So if you watch how this is going to work, this running back streak, so I get it out, he goes to the hitch, this whole middle of the field is now open for the running back to be able to work over the middle. So it's a really, really effective concept for beating Mabel coverage. Um, if you're in regs, I actually would encourage you to probably smart route the, um, the tight end. And the main reason why is because if you take a look at this, he's going to turn that into a five yard. Now, if that was in mutt, it, was, it would be very likely that that would be a little sh even sharper than that. And they would just basically run themselves into coverage, uh, especially if they're facing a cover three. So, But if I smart route him out of this look, you see he gets that animation on the sideline and does do a pretty good job. This also helps with man coverage if, you wanna, if you're looking to beat man coverage. What I like about that corner route, especially in Mutt, is if you get a look like this and they're running some man-to-man -man on you, then you'll see that this tight end, when you motion all this over, you're going to see this right here. This tight end corner route now gets matched up on an outside linebacker and can get pretty good leverage uh, via that concept. 
so that's pretty much the concept. Um, I want to come back and I want to work and, and I want to talk through this, uh, the opposite side of the field. So this is really good because, and the reason why I like this so much is because your actual initial read that you can make is you can actually look to the left side because when you motion Brown to the, to the right, if they're not playing cover two, this corner route will basically be open every single time. You'll see here that I can get him over the 30 yard cloud. The biggest problem in my opinion is the outside third zone. The outside third zone kind of gets in the way a little bit, honestly. Um, and there's some things we can do to get around it, but you know, really just with the way the formation is, is designed. So that's where sometimes I'll even like, I'll even like leave the, the, the route on its default depth, which is a really deep corner. Um, and the reason why is just to try to get more space so then I can throw it down and away uh, on the corner on the sideline. So just lab that up. That's a pretty good route as well. That route's going to do a really good job um, against a lot of different defenses. Now, if they're in Tampa 2, um, which is a concept that most people won't do against trip side end. I'm just telling you, um, it's very rare that people run cover 2 against this. Um, but on the, on the right side, it's pretty much the same exact read. Uh, and we'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, on the left side, though, if you have this square receiver on a, on a uh, vertical route, then you can just pass lead this to the left, click on, and do a little swerve catch and get over the top of a cover two. So that's why I like to peak the fade and then work to the opposite uh, or work to the other routes. Now, there are other ways that we can run this concept. Um, let me show you cover two to the other side of the field real quick. So um, let's say they just do something like this. And let's just say they drop a, I mean, they're, they're not going to, I just don't see them doing this, but it's just very rare for a defense to do something like this. But let's just say that they drop a purple, whoops, drop a purple zone there, just like that. Now, when we motion across, I just want to show you the kind of the play. Um, the cool part is this corner route does a good job of pulling these underneath flats out of the way. And as you see here, our hitch is still wide open. Everything's still open. The corner route. This is actually why I like to leave. Um, this is another one of the reasons why I like to leave the tight end on his default corner route. Because on this specific play, um, very specific to this play though, is in this design. Because he has a deeper corner route, if they're playing cover two on that side, um, you can throw this. If that was like a default cover two, you can get that over the top of a cloud. Now, if it's a, a cover two like you like you saw, but I play in a cover two that a lot of people play against strip side in, where they have those uh, flats set to 30 yards to try to try to defend uh, crossers and things like that nature. The problem is because the flat zone is outside of the formation, it does cause a little, little bit of a problem. Um, and you just see he can kind of just eat that alive. But there's so many other things that are going to be open as a result. It's not, you know, there, there's so much more that you can do. Um, let me give you a quick example. So if they run Tampa 2, um, then what you could do is you could basically do this, where you just have a crossing route and, um, you know, something like this setup right here. This is a really good setup for Tampa 2 because the hitch or the, the curl typically will hold that. I, I forgot to put them on a hitch, but we've talked about that a lot of the channel. Um, you could also do something. This is another little technique that you could use um, if you wanted to. And this is to use, um, to basically use your running back as your hitch route. So I can put the running back on a ghost. You see that it's going to put him in that same area of the field. And then now what this allows me to do um, is it allows me to basically do this. I can streak triangle. And instead of motioning triangle, I can now motion square on a streak. So now I've got, you know, just kind of the same concept, but what you'll see is that this X gets so much more open when you do that, okay? Just just because it's a streak uh, from a, you know, from an outside guy. It's also really good against that, that, that cloud flat that we were talking about. So like if they go Tampa 2 out of that, you know, there's some options that we have um, at, our, at our disposal. So anyways, this is... Um, this is the smash concept. So you can do this on the opposite side as well, and I'll show that really quickly. So if I take triangle and I put him on a hitch, 
The one issue with it is he is uh, a little bit too inside, in my opinion. You see how he'll move to the inside here? So if they have a yellow zone, it should get out there on him. You see right there, it does get out there. But it still opens up this corner. What I like about hitch routes is they hold, they don't just hold underneath zones, they hold deep blue zones. They kind of um, really are just a way that you can really kind of mess with the zones. So you'll see here, let me show it to you again. When I use, if I just have a hitch on that side of the field with a flat zone, or I'm sorry, with a corner route, look at the outside third, not play the corner route. Really, really cool little feature. So you can kind of Im implement that uh, into some of your plays and designs. One way you could also run it from this is to, to do a standard flood where you basically do this, where you see the defense is in the defense like this, and then all you're gonna do is just this right here. This is a really good little setup here um, on this left side, three-man concept. Because see, look how that flat zone gets pulled inside, and it really opens up that window to now be able to hit that um, that corner out to the outside. So anyways, this is a way that you can kind of use the smash concept out of three by one, out of trips tight end. Um, this is a lot of fun, man. This offense is a lot of fun. If you've not gotten the New England Patriots offensive guide, I would encourage you to do so, um, mostly so that you can get a head start on Madden 22 because this offense right here is the building block and the foundation of everything we're gonna be doing in Madden 22. So if you've not gotten the New England Patriots offensive guide, go ahead and pick it up today. It's super cheap and you can uh, start preparing for next season. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you later.